Yes, sir. It's your boy Kyle the Kid and Mega the Boy, and welcome to another episode of Vibe with Your Boys podcast. This week, it's just Kyle and Mega. No guests. I haven't done this in a while. No Abby. It's been about a year and a half, two years, maybe somewhere yeah, around no, it. No, not not two years. Not two. About a year and a half. Since. a year. Strong year. Some sometime earlier last year a, we did this. A strong year and some change, maybe. Yeah. Right that it's just been me and Mega on the podcast, and uh, this um, I would say is a solid reason. A solid reason for us for it to just be us. Abby, shout out Abby. She just had a birthday. No voice. Yeah. Um. So she lost her twerking. She lost her voice twerking. Yeah. That's what she said. I don't think that's what Abby said. Uh-huh. Explain to me the like the dynamic of like twerking and losing your voice. Think about it. You mm-hmm. never heard somebody like you never seen a girl twerk in silence. All they twerking come with an A. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it always come with some extra shit. Okay, so that's and how she. If they twerk lost. 35 times an hour, that's 35 A's an hour. No, lose your voice twerking. Twerk 35 times an hour. That's 35 A's an hour. Okay, so how much A's? Uh, you just told me. You just told yeah. me. You just did the math. Okay, 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 okay. So shout out to Abby, man. Shout out Abby. Get get better. Drink little, some tea. Little tea, lemon, honey. You know, whatever you got to do to do it. The, the, the essentials. Um, but uh, this a lot of stuff been going on, and you know we've been doing some great interviews, some great conversations with Abby, and we really haven't been able to touch on certain stuff like we wanted to. So you know, why not use this week to you know dive into the things that we want to dive into? Um, where do we start? Let's hmm. see. We have. We this. can go order. Okay. Oh yeah. So yeah. I mean, what's order? What's I mean, order? like two weeks ago, the finesse two times thing. You can introduce that. Oh, finesse two times, uh, with on the Breakfast Club, mm-hmm. and um, he talked about his uh, relationship ending with Erica Banks and the reason of it, and um, some of the stuff I'm kind of shaking on. You know, I didn't hear you know all of it repeatedly, but he was saying that some of the stuff that led to the relationship is that him, you know, being a quote unquote man. He likes certain stuff, you know, mm-hmm. and but as him as a man, he wants his woman when she wakes up to attend to him, take care of her, the business mm-hmm. and, you know, or whatever the case may be. He want a woman to cater to him, pretty much. Yeah, cater to him and handle her business. And mm-hmm. being that he is her man, mm-hmm. he is a part of her business that she should attend to once she wakes up. Mm-hmm. That's what he believes. Yeah. And she said what she would do instead is, you know, hop on her phone, you know. Basically, not attend to her business. Which could kind of be her business, too. Depending on how you're looking she, at she's it. She's an artist. Depending on how you're looking mm-hmm. at it, which is what Erica Banks said. Mm-hmm. She said that... I didn't see her response, but yeah. Yeah, she said that when she gets on her phone, she's looking at what DM she got, what booking she got, what money mm-hmm. can be made, you, you know, checking. Mm-hmm. Checking mm-hmm. to see, mm-hmm. you know, what's going on, what's happening. Mm-hmm. And then she could do other stuff. And that was her response. Mm-hmm. And um, Mega, I'm assuming you heard a lot of chatter, seen a lot, a lot of chatter. Yeah, 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 I did, I did. Yeah. And I've been waiting to talk about this. I've been, I've been, I've been waiting to talk about this, mm-hmm. you know. So to speak on Finesse Two Times, I don't really know too much about what he had to say. i seen it, but he's very old school from what I see from Finesse Two Times, whatever the case mm-hmm. may be. So him saying catering and all the extra shit, whatever, you know, every man is different. Me personally, I don't, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, right? All I require my woman to do is shut the fuck up before 8 o'clock. If you can shut the fuck up before 8 o'clock, you, you good in my eyes. I don't need my woman to cater to me. Now, in the process of shutting the fuck up before 8 o'clock, if you want to make me two egg and cheese on a croissant, some strawberry, preservative, some <laughs> strawberry preservatives, a little orange juice, six chunks of watermelon, you good in my eyes. You know what I'm saying? That's all I need. You shut the fuck up and make me some breakfast. Now, you don't got to make me a breakfast. I go to Wawa, give me a little burrito, and I'll be good. I'll hold myself down. But just shut the fuck up before 8 o'clock. That's all I before eight a.m. Eight a.m. Don't talk before eight a.m. Not seven fifty nine. Not seven fifty eight. Not seven fifty seven. Like you can talk, but not have like, not try to hold conversation. Quiet. Not try to hold conversation. Peace and quiet before eight o'clock. Nothing. Peace and quiet, but she can like, like just like make a gesture like nothing. You good? Out. Like you don't good? interact with me before eight o'clock. Don't don't ask me if I'm good. No head nods. <laughs> don't open the door and see if I'm up. I'm straight. Leave me alone. That's all I require. So all the extra shit. Uh, I think eight is reasonable though. Eight o'clock, yeah, shut up. Like, like, what could you need from me before eight a.m.? You gonna talk the whole rest of the day? Just shut up before eight. 
You know what I'm saying? I don't even require you to make me my egg and cheese on a croissant, strawberry preservatives, orange juice, six chunks of watermelon. I don't require that. But that would be like but great. That would be great. A couple of times a week, or you but know. when you come, when you bring it to me, don't say, "Hey, babe, I got I got food for you." Just put it, just, just put it down. Just walk out. But anyways, I'll just sign. You know, and you know, you see chatters and stuff, and the whole dumb article, the whole dumb story about, oh, I'm not gonna be doing wifey stuff for a man mm-hmm. before I before we get married. Kyle, that is the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my fucking life. That I'm not gonna do wife. What is wifey duties to you, bro? Wifey duties? Yeah. What's what's some wifey duties? Um, wifey duties. If it, if it's just me or her, no kids. Yeah, just wifey. Whatever. Wifey, wifey duties, duties. Um, no kids yet. Is basically yeah, like attending to her man. Um, In what way? Like what ways? Touch like you. I would say wifey duties is you know making sure that uh, if he goes off to work in the morning, okay, that you know he has a plan or has a way of getting food, whether it's. You making him the food mm-hmm. or, um, you know, just making sure like he you, fed, he you, fed you have, you have, a, if you're not making like, oh, well, are you going to stop? Or yeah. are you going to get something like, yeah, okay, what else? Um, you know, just attending to him that way, you know, um, cleaning, make it, cleaning you know, Which making sure, the clean. making sure the house is clean. Tidy, it, feels, house, it, probably share. it feels like a home, you yeah. know, the aesthetics, you know. You know, some people, you know, when the house gets too junky, you know, mm-hmm. it, it fucks with their mental yeah, and stuff yeah, yeah. like that. So, you know, that's wifey duties. Yeah. You know, um, once again, when mm-hmm. he gets home. Yeah, cool. we got the food part of it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think mean, you got to double down. What else? What else? What else? Uh, wifely duties. I would say making sure that, I mean, he's, you know, mentally okay. Mm-hmm. I would say, you know, checking talking it, to him, talking to him sure you know, straight. his wants and needs, you okay. know, whatever's on his mind. Um. Definitely, I mean, sex. Yeah, sex. yeah, okay, okay. Sex, okay. sex. That, yeah, cool. is, is a part of wifely duty. Yeah, that's four things you just named. Yeah, that's four. Um, Make it easy for you. It's, not, it's, not, it's fucking else. <laughs> it's nothing fucking else, bro. You guys have to start this bullshit. Bro, oh my. cooking and cleaning is not wifey duties. You clean because you want to be clean. Are you a dirty bitch? <laughs> Are you a dirty bitch? You clean. Bro, if you was in the house with a bitch, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm sorry, a woman. All, not all y'all bitches, but the bitches know who I'm talking to. If you're in the house with a woman, bro, and okay. most likely if you and the girl dating, you got your own crib, she going to find a way to move in. Mm-hmm. She going she gonna to drop off a couple of stuff. Every time she comes, she going to leave some more shit. Eventually, y'all living together. So you going to wake up in the morning, see my, you know, the, house not, the house not tidy, you going to be like, you know what? I'm not going to clean because I'm not a wife yet. No, you're just a dirty bitch. That's it. You're a dirty bitch. You don't want to clean. Keep cooking. You wake up in the morning. I make some breakfast. What you not gonna make no breakfast for your nigga because y'all not a, y'all not married? You a dirty bitch. That's all it is. There's no such thing as wifey. The only thing that you could you could be like, I'm gonna wait till I'm married. It's fucking sex. If y'all agree on that, then you know it's cool. Like you don't have to fuck. Doing, doing his laundry though, like I like oh. doing his laundry continuously seven days, not seven days a week, but like every week. I would say possibly is you know wifey possibly. duties making it a. a, a, a Cause it could be a gesture that you do every now yeah, and then, but, but you, like you don't have to a, make it at the as forefront a, as a requirement. Like Sunday, I have to cook. I have to uh, clean, cook, and do your laundry. Yeah, that I agree. If especially if y'all not living together. That are, she probably they probably living together. There's no such thing as us not living together. Think about it. If you got your own spot, your girl most likely gonna be living with you four times out of the week. And if she's not technically living with you, she's there all the time. All the to fucking work. time. So she might as well stay there. Whatever. Mm-hmm. So whatever. That wifey shit is stupid, bro. It's like going to a dealership. You go to the dealership, you see a car that you like, you be like, let me test drive the car, let me see how the, you know, how the car go. The nigga say, you know what, until you sign your name on the dotted line, I can't put the engine on it. I can't put the engine on it until you sign the dotted line. So I can't even see what type of wife you're going to be until I, put, until I put a ring on it. Does that make any fucking sense? Nigga, you're not a wife because I marry you. You're a wife when I met you, and I married you and make you my wife. So if I can't see what I'm going to get, it's not a fucking game. Oh, let me unlock this level so I can see what I can get. Okay. So now, let me give some pushback now. Because hmm. I see, I, I not see, I understand where, yeah. where you're coming well, you from. Well, you understand because you're a real nigga. Where you going mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Pretty but sure. let me give some pushback now. Mm-hmm. What about to the older, wiser ladies that tell the, that tell the young ladies mm-hmm. and be like, if you're doing all of that stuff or doing certain things, what's the point of him putting a ring on it? Mm-hmm. So there is a certain level no. of stuff uh-huh. that, you know, you probably shouldn't go as hard as because 
it kind of creates a, what do you call it, an atmosphere like, damn, I don't need to marry her. Nothing changes. I already got everything. True. So what is your pushback to that? He don't want to make you his wife. You could do everything for a nigga. If he don't want to marry, he just don't want to marry. But he wants you around, but he doesn't want to marry. So you, you're you saying that a man isn't going to be like, you know what? For he, me to for me to get what I truly want out of her, I need to marry her. No. There's no man that ever be like, you know what? Life is perfect right now. Let me unlock a new, a new, a new level. Let me marry to see what else I can get. No, no niggas doing that shit. They gonna marry you because they see what they like what you have right now. And if they don't like what you have right now, then they just won't be married. It won't be no marriage going on. So you, that whole shit, oh wait, wifely duties and all that shit before I get married. I'm not doing that because I have to wait till I get married. That shit is stupid. The only thing that makes sense is sex. If if y'all agree on that, if you're some religious shit or you want to wait, whatever, cool. That's all understandable. But that cooking and cleaning shit ain't no wife duties, bro. That's just being fucking clean and feeding yourself. That ain't no fucking wife duties, bro. That shit's stupid. And I gotta stop that shit. That's why all y'all, all y'all, a lot of y'all bitches ain't never gonna get a nigga. I'm be honest with you. Because that shit just stupid. That's the dumbest shit ever. Now, I ain't gonna say you gotta clean the nigga drawers and shit. That, that's a little, you know what I'm saying? You don't gotta clean the nigga dirty drawers. But cooking and cleaning, that's wifely doing it? Oh, fuck yo. Fuck yo. And to be fair, a lot of it just comes down to consideration, right? Because, mm-hmm. like, Cooking. If you're over the crib or you're living with him, y'all got to eat. What, you going to cook for yourself and not cook for him because you got a ring? Y'all, y'all got to eat. Y'all got to eat. And, I mean, as a man, it's nothing wrong with cooking. Get, you know, get, put, get, getting in the kitchen, whipping something up or whatever the case may be. You know, and a lot of times, you know, a lot of people like to operate under this thing called, you know, Non gender specific roles oh, yeah, and stuff like that, yeah. you know, because a man can be yeah, able. Damn, you know, my dad throw down. Yeah, a man can down. can and should be able to do that, you know. Granted, I must say, just because somebody can do something, that doesn't mean they're you know necessarily Obviously. good at it. Oh yeah, true, true. Good at it, you know. Mm-hmm. Some people could look, look. Mm-hmm. I'm not a cook for myself, mm-hmm. you know. I I make stuff the way I like it, you know, or you know digestible for me, mm-hmm. you know. I'm. What I make, you might not like. like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it comes down to, do you like a man that knows how to cook Uh or knows how to survive? Mm -hmm. You know, because, you know, I've seen seen my dad whip some stuff up for me. I've seen my grandfather cook for my grandma Mm -hmm. when she wasn't able to do so. But granted, a majority of the cooking was done by her, you know, and... A lot of times, you know, we get into the non-gender specific roles and stuff like that. And, you know, a lot of, especially now in 2023, you know, we have the independent woman who, you know, says that, oh, why do I have to be the one to clean? Why do I have to be the one to cook? Why do Yo, I have to woman, be the one? You're a woman, bitch. B-word just flying. No, I'm just tired flying, of it. I'm tired flying. of it. You're a woman. You, sh- you should want to do that shit. It's not even about, oh, you, that's the only thing you could do. You should want to cook. You should want to clean. You want you want your spot your spouse in your house to be clean. Is it? You want your house your spot to be clean. You want your house to be clean. That's not about being a, like gender specific. That's just you being a woman. Women are more clean. Have more cleanliness. That, that, isn't that what they've been telling? Them? Oh, little boys are dirty. Little girls you should be able to clean. Whatever, whatever. That that's what it is. And matter of fact, I thought of something earlier. Right? If you're a a lady with a man, yeah, right? You know, and there are some, you know, very, you know, neat, organized men that keep up 100% with their, with their, like, uh, cleansiness, right? Because some guys, you know, they keep themselves clean, but then, you know, their house may not be too up to par or whatever, Mm -hmm. and I don't think you can not keep yourself clean outside and and your house be clean. So I'm not going to flip it, flip it on the other end, but, you know, some some guys, you know, with certain cleanliness things, you know, you know, but, Let's say you're a lady, right? A lot of times I see women be like, oh, you're such a mess. Let me do this for you. Da, 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 yeah, da. Yeah. Or like uh, women will come into your house or whatever. After you might think your shit looks straight. They'd be like, why is that there? Or why is that there? It's straight. That, Man, it's that, straight. That, that just be chilling right there. No, 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 no. It's no, not no, supposed no. to be there. Why are you shoot over there? Why, why you don't put it in the room? It's shit like no, that. Nah, babe. You, you, you can't be living like this. And a lot of women will do that, like, especially the yeah. ones that are nurturers. Women. Who like... Not the bitches. <laughs> okay. we, yeah, we ain't talking about the women. We're talking we, about the bitches. We different. The and bitches that's trying to disguise as women. <laughs> I that's what I'm talking about. I ain't talking about the women. The ones that that got the eye, the eye, the, the, the marriage eye. A key 
before we get off this topic, a key um example of this is um even though they're going through their own little thing right now, and you know they're not to be looked at as goals or anything like that, is when Little Dirk talked about India, mm-hmm. and you know he um he was living in his ho- house, yeah, yeah, and he said that she came in, and he didn't have any furniture, yeah, he didn't have any furniture. He was just his dogs were just chilling there and stuff like that, and she was like, "Yo, you can't just be having your dogs." in the house 24 seven and you got no furniture and you bring me here, like, mm-hmm. you know, what I'm, where I'm gonna go. Yeah. What am I do? Or, mm-hmm. you know, how is this comfortable for me? Mm-hmm. And to where, like he basically said, she turned his house into a home. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that That's is what a woman should do. Yeah. Turn her house into a home. I mean, clean that bitch. Cook, you know, or, Make shit organized. or nurture the house, Just nurture the it. house. Yeah. Put some shit on the wall. I don't fucking know. So, more of the story is uh, on this topic is that Mega feels like um, there is no such thing as wifely, wi- wifely duties. No. And uh, you should basically do what, sh- you know, just, I hate when people want to do something out of the kindness of their heart with somebody they love and they have this thing in their head like, oh no, yeah. I should not do it because of this. You know, like Mega said, you know, when it comes to intercourse, that's something different. different. You know, that's religious beliefs. Might you know, on you, but that's religious beliefs. That's, that's yeah. morals. That's you know principles. Yeah. You know, that's something different. Yeah. I don't think your principles and morals are aligned with. I'm not gonna clean for a man. That's there's no yeah. way. You're just dirty. There's no way. Yeah. There's no way. You're dirty. Um. You're dirty. So yeah, I feel like do what you want to do out of the kindness of your heart for the right person. You know, sometimes we get it wrong. Sometimes we get it right. Don't be like, oh, I'm not married. I'm not going to cook for him ever. Or Ladies, there's, there's no guy that's going to marry because you haven't unlocked certain wifely things that they want to see. No guy at all. Stop it. Cut it out. Word to Megan, man. Uh, and then flowing on into the, a bunch of other stuff that went on. Um, let's see. Let's see. They're, they're all kind of, the rest of the story is kind of uh, all around the same. I mean, I just want to do John Morant. John Morant happened. That was yeah, John Morant. Yeah, John we're, going, Morant. we're going to order. John Morant, uh, the point guard for the Memphis Grizzlies, mm-hmm. uh, superstar mm-hmm. point guard, all-star, whatever you want to, you know, titles you want to add to him. Mm-hmm. Recently, well, he's been getting, you know, some whispers of trouble and incidents throughout the last year and a half or so to where... Eventually, you know, this time it finally he finally it finally led to punishment. He was in a strip club. I forgot where exactly. Somewhere in Colorado. Colorado, and uh, to where he was shown flashing a gun in a video. Very idiotic. Flashing a gun in a video, Mm -hmm. and uh, to people who didn't understand why that was such a big issue, um, the NBA is a corporation. Um, It is a family friendly corporation. Mm Which, of course, it's built around sports, and they have an image to uphold. You know, they don't want one of their, any player, but especially not one of their premier players Mm -hmm. that gets posted on billboards and, you know, uh, that is used to attract fans. one of the faces of the league? One of the faces of the league. Especially for the young kids. To be flashing a gun in a strip club that sends a certain message of, you know, violence. Because when people flash guns, in videos, it's to, you know, make the indication that I will use it or, mm-hmm. you know, strike fear or anything of that nature. You know, it's not the same thing as being shown in the shooting range mm-hmm. and you like, damn, I have good aim. Y'all see, like, what I'm working with. It's mm-hmm. not the same thing. It's in a controlled environment. It's shown to be like, oh, that's cool, you know. It told two totally different looks, and it's not, of course, to say that John Morant should not have a gun. And also, there's rules. There was an investigation wondering how did he get the gun because they were not in Memphis. How they did were he get traveling. It to Colorado? Did he bring the gun on on the team plane? Which is an illegal walk to the NBA. Yeah, you're not supposed to carry with weapons because, you know, there were have weapons in the facility. Yes, yeah. and um, so there was a whole investigation. So that's kind of you know some more understanding to the people who just weren't getting it, mm-hmm. and um. He got suspended. I'm not sure. Maybe was it for a total of eight games? It was eight games. He got. He was away from the team for... Yeah, at first he was just away from the team. Yeah, for like two games. And then he checked into like a rehab facility, whatever, mm-hmm. which is another six games and eight games in total. Yes. And um, 
So that's what happened. You know, it is what it is. I hope this was a learning moment from John Moran. I'm not really here to talk about the incident yeah, 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 and how yeah, yeah. idiotic it was itself. That's been talked about. Way more than it needed to be. Yeah. What I want to talk about, what Megan wants to talk about, is the reaction from the media, whether you say white media or, more importantly, black, black media yeah. Yeah. and black people. Yeah. We have this thing of, you know, coming down too strongly on our own. And not to say you're not supposed to come down on because you we have to, you know, correct behaviors, you know, not, of course, you know, let people know when they're wrong and like, yo, you, that's not cool. Of course. But it's also a something of, you know, at the end of the day, having a pride within yourself to be like, that's a black brother, that's a black sister. I will condemn the action, but at the end of the day, I'm going to send love, I'm going to send support, and hope they get back on the right path mm -hmm. of success. Mm -hmm. And um, of course, you're going to see some of that, but I also see a lot of condemning, especially in the sports media, um, from you know fellow black analysts and things like that, to where which a lot of them I have a lot of respect for I do. in this space that we do. Mm -hmm. um, but it's something to be said when, you know, uh, Dana White, who um, mega follows him a lot more than I do and, you know, has a lot Good of... Good guy. seems like a great guy. As I, I, I was about to guy. say, has a lot of respect for him and what he has built. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, gets into an incident with his wife to where she does slap him first. But he does go ahead yeah, he, and he, well, he watch her ass up and you know um, respond back with f physicality with mm -hmm. a slap as well, and which is you know frowned upon whether you know she hit him first or not it's still frowned, frowned upon. upon, and uh, sports media and media in general did not tippy toe really you know condemn him you mm -hmm. know um, mm -hmm. there's been you know talk about how. He comes down hard on his UFC players. Mm -hmm. I mean, not players, UFC fighters, fighters, fighters yep. for getting into, you know, those similar domestic disputes. And, you know, he's handed out swift punishment for them. Yeah. Rightfully so. Right. And rightfully so. rightfully so. So, you know, there was a conversation whether, you know, what does he get as, mm -hmm. you know, the one up top, top. How does he check himself? And that lasted for maybe... 30, four days. Four days. That bit lasted 28, 28 hours. And the reason why it lasted 29 hours because they had to clear up the, you know what I'm saying, the little, the little, uh, what's the little ticker at the bottom? The headlines? The headline. They had to clean that up. By the time ESPN started that next day, out of there. Out of there. Shout mm. out to Dana White, though. And, um, or with Hall of Fame QB Brett Favre, Brett Favre. Mm -hmm. who, you know, the optics on it, you know, is, you know, not, 100% on the details, but what is clear money. is that what he is being accused of is stealing money from welfare. Allegedly. From poor um, and low-income families to help his daughter's school. It's like volleyball or some shit, ain't it? Whatever sport it was, yeah. build facilities on that school, and he was using that money um, to get that done. And he's going through the process of right now of trying to prove his innocence or whatever the case may be. You did that shit. But mm -hmm. regardless, that was rarely talked about across sports media platforms. 16 hours. Um, whether he's guilty or innocent, because you know people, oh, we can't really talk about it because we don't know if he's guilty. Yes, you can. You can. Because there was a lot of talk about John Morant mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. the gun incident, and we don't know what followed up behind it. We don't know how he got the gun. We don't know what happened. came back mm -hmm. that he did not bring that on. They can't prove that he brought it on the, on the plane. Mm -hmm. They can't prove that he, the beamer at the Pacer players, they can't prove that was a beam. So a lot of shit that I can't prove, but y'all was ready to villainize this nigga and demonize him. Right, continue. Yeah, so, and, and exactly, and that goes along with a lot of other cases, you know, mm -hmm. with our black um, <coughs> figures in in the media uh, when they're being talked about, mm -hmm. it's a constant talk. You know, with Kyrie, you know, love him, hate him, disagree with him, don't agree with him. <laughs> Kyrie, for retweeting a link, was talked about every day 
for a month. A month. Lost his, lost his NBA uh, sneaker deal. Lost or his, his Nike sneaker deal. Lost his sneaker deal. Um, Got suspended. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, was told that he has to go ahead and go to some learning and uh, anti-Semitic training and things of that nature. It was talked about every single day uh, for retweeting a link. Now, whether he handled that correctly or not, hey, that's not what I'm here to speak on. But I'm just talking about the noise around him compared to white counterparts who get in trouble or, you know, make headlines, but it's not treated the same, especially in this particular, uh, since we're talking about Kyrie, we're talking about John Morant in sports media. Um, Meanwhile, during that same time when Kyrie was going through his thing, the pictures of Jerry Jones came out. And Jerry Jones was like, at a rally. Where they, I think it was like some black kids that was going to start into attending the school. It was black kids trying to be able to attend to the, 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 the all-white schools and at that a time. Bunch of white kids, whatever, out there trying to stop them from coming in, whatever. Mm-hmm. And Jerry Jones was right there. Mm-hmm. And, you have, and we know what hurts the most is when you have some of the black media. I'm not saying you have to. If you really feel that type of way about Jerry Jones, and he's a good guy, whatever the case may be, that's cool. But it's the fact that y'all was coming to his defense. No, 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 he, great guy. He saved my life, and he did this. That is fine, but we, we still got to look at that picture for what it is. And when you, and you hear the story that his coach told him not to go out there because the week before something similar happened, and when they were about to bring him to the school, they knew that was going to happen and said, do not go out there. So he went out there knowingly knowing what that was about to happen. People, people, um, I think it, it might have been Michael Irvin or somebody, you Michael know. Or, Michael s- Irvin, saying, like, Pat Man Jones. Saying that, oh, he probably didn't even know what was going on. And it was, it, it was kind of funny because Dr. Umar said, y'all making up scenarios in his defense. <laughs> he didn't even come out and say he didn't know what was going on. Yeah. But y'all, make, y'all trying to defend him so much, y'all putting out possibilities that he didn't know what was going on. Granted, this is the man that, you know, allowed them to feed their families, uh, sp- specifically Michael Irvin and Adam Pacman Jones and things like that. You know, th- this is probably a guy that they have a lot of love for that shows them a lot of love. But at the end of the day, and I'm speaking to my black people who's watching this, I feel like we have to be black first. And when I say that, not to automatically throw the down the gauntlet on anybody who, write, who, me- who messes up, but we have to be fair. There is no reason why we give certain people who are not black a pass and then come down on our own. I have, I interact with a lot of white people. I've had white friends throughout my life. I've, you know, made jokes and been like, damn, this is a real cool white person. Like, it's nothing wrong with showing love to them. Mm -hmm. It's nothing wrong with showing love to them. But what I see what they do with their own and other cultures do with their own they don't condemn. At least they don't condemn strongly until it's like, damn, okay. Yeah, we we can't even stand behind you no more, big dog. Like they they show correct like, you know, they show like damn, that needs to be corrected, like, damn, you messed up. But it's not something that we're gonna talk about for a five day news week. We're not gonna, you know, go hard on. But for us, it's like, let's give them a pass. And let's, with our other uh, white counterparts or whatever counterparts, let's all talk about this black person together. And and some of it, some of it could be, you know, you could say like, you know, the white power structure controls the media and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And, you know, pumps it into stuff like That's that. That's bullshit, bro. Bro. Certain people's big, bro. You know, I'm going to give Shannon Sharp a pass because I feel like Shannon Sharp is more personal. I feel like it's more personal than I understand. Oh, we gotta keep people. They're gonna say, "Oh no, nah, we could keep it personal. We could keep the uh, per- professional and the personal separate." No, you can't, nigga. You feel like you got size bomb, and you feel like he really not what he you think he's trying to portray. You are gonna keep going at him, whatever. So I, I'm gonna give him a pass. But when you when you hear like the Stephen A. Smith, even though like you know I haven't heard see Stephen A. Smith do too much, you know, talking about John Morant, but Stephen A. Smith, the J the J. Williams, which I'm gonna get to in a second, cause you you that's something you could do. The Jay Williams, Stephen A. Smith, you guys are, are top of y'all what y'all doing. You guys, if y'all don't want to speak about the top, y'all don't have to speak about it. And I don't think you're gonna get fired. You're not. You, you don't have to speak about At, it, especially on the third or fourth day. You do not have to speak about it. Yes, you can address it the first day, whatever the case may be. Address it with care, the same way you would address Jerry Jones and Dana White's. Address it with care, because you don't know the truth. But 
After that, you don't have to speak about it every day, whatever the case may be. Especially if there isn't new news about the situation, because they'll just talk about it every day and there's no updates. Bro, it got to the point where Skip Bayless started deciphering a lyric or a, a scene he said from a song. Yeah, from an NBA Youngboy song, once he came back. It's, it's a, a party in my city. It's, yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's, a, it's a parade inside my city, uh, whatever. Like, what are we doing? Now y'all just dragging this shit. And it's not, it's like, it's not, it's so blatant and disrespectful. It's so blatantly disrespectful. Because he quoted a rap l- lyric from a song that was talking about violence, right? Which is possibly, I I don't know, I'm spitballing a number here, probably 85% of rap music is it's probably fine. talking about some type of violence. And Skip, is it, isn't it Lil Wayne one of your close friends? You say it all the time. So what the fuck are you talking about? I mean, good to and, like, yeah, that was just so crazy. And I love Skip Bayless as a media personality. He's an inspiration. It's like I said, in the space that we do. But that was just like wild to see. And I mean, you can't blame him. And no offense when I say that. He's right. <laughs> you can't blame him. You can't blame Skip Bayless for saying that. You can't blame him for saying yeah. that because that is how he's supposed to see it. Yeah. That is how he's supposed to see it. But. What I do expect better from is Jay Williams. Is Jay Williams and other black people? Go, 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 go can, can, can I, 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 I don't want to talk about. It. I, I mean, I can't, I can't, I can't even say what he said, bro. What he said? I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of murky, but I believe he kind of said that John Morant should have got a, a more extensive punishment. He's only suspended for the season. Oh yeah, suspended for the rest mm-hmm. of the regular season, and mm-hmm. I guess evaluate him when it in comes the, in the playoffs. Yeah, in the playoffs. And should have, you know, a whole bunch of other stuff as well. I mean, you can speak on it. It's Suck kinda... my dick, Jay William. Oh, my bro, God. Bro, dog, that shit, that shit made me so mad, bro. And I don't let shit really get to me. But that shit got to me so, bro. For you guys want to know who Jay William is, he got some fucking nerves. Oh, he got the audacity to unmitigated goal to say that shit. Jay William was drafted number two in the 2002 NBA draft. <laughs> Number two for the Duke, one of the Duke leading scorers, whatever the fuck he is, right? Best players in best Duke, players in Duke in college history, basketball, right? Comes mm-hmm. in after about nine points rookie year, second team All NBA rookie team. Expect to have a big jump his second year. Now in NBA contracts is a is a clause. Don't be riding no motorcycles, no motorcycles. Don't be driving no motorcycles. None of that, right? Matter of fact, before I even say that, bro, I remember Chris Paul was about to sign a deal, mm-hmm. and he was about to go to Aspen. And for some, I guess Aspen and like the, the the altitude and stuff, the plane have to go higher, et cetera, et cetera. And he canceled his trip to Aspen because he didn't want to jeopardize anything that was stopping him from getting a deal. So the reason I say that, June 13th, 2003, Jay William decided to jump on a motorcycle that was not licensed. He had no helmet. It was not licensed. It was forbidden on his contract to drive motorcycles. He went to speed on the north side of Chicago. Mm. Hit a median or hit like a uh, um, a pole mm-hmm. with no helmet, tore like both ACLs, oh. his gro- groin, wow, all type of shit, right? Being young and dumb. Luckily for you, Jay Williams, you didn't die, even though your career didn't you know proceed, whatever. You was able to get a second chance at life, and now you're one of the best, you know, so college basketball, you know, analyst, whatever, whatever, whatever the case may be. You were with ESPN, so you got a second chance at life. But for you. To do that at a young age, be stupid and dumb, and it's in your contract not do that shit. And for you to look at it, look at us and say Gee, that nigga. And coming John out, Morant, and also I want to add, coming out of college, he had way more expectations than John Morant. John Morant was more. a great college basketball player, but he went to Murray State, kind of hopped on the scene, all of a sudden and made a splash. You, Jay Williams, he wasn't no. Were he a was national no, championship. Yep. You were. Um, a college basketball player of the year. Yep, you knew what was expected out of you. You you both were number two picks, but it's a certain level of expectation that came. You were expected you. to be a number two pick coming out of high school, yeah. a top pick coming out of high school. So for you to do that, getting an accident, ruin your NBA career, but to look and say this kid, or should be punished because of he say she say. Only thing that we know for sure is that he flashed a gun. That's the only thing we know for sure. We didn't. We didn't see him pointing on Beamer. They they can't. Even, they can't even say that he did it. And when it was accused, it was accused from one of his uh, people around him that they flashed. The they, yeah, beam, whatever. Not him. They they say oh he had an uh, altercation at a mall with some with some kid whatever. Nobody came out and said that was true. So it's like for you to be like oh we're gonna put this major punishment on this kid who's 21, 22 years old. 
when you, at the same age you made a very grave mistake to your career, that's very, very idiotic of you. And you can suck my dick, and you can suck John Morant dick. Those are very strong words. And I mean it. No, no I don't mean to suck the dick part. <laughs> but you can suck dick, but don't. You know what I mean, nigga. Like, that was very, dog, dog. Like, you can't have that type of platform. And it's crazy because John, Mar I mean, uh, Jake Wynn was coming to defend the Kyrie when everybody was bashing Kyrie. He was one of Kyrie's biggest defenders. Bro, and I'm like, bro, even though Kyrie be on some other shit, but I'm like, bro, I, I understood what you were doing. You can't let everybody just keep bashing on him, and you're going to come out and say that in a moment where bro probably needed more guidance. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, after, and he, and the, the thing about uh, Jay Williams, right? I mean, of course, he said it after this, the punishment was handed down, but I didn't see him take a strong take for the, that strong of a take until the two weeks that it was going on. And then he, while John Morant is supposed to, you know, be getting, you know, getting mentally ready, he goes whatever. ahead and says that. Now, who knows? On national television. Now, who knows how John Morant looks at you or listens to you or you know as you as one of the best college basketball players of all time or who, who ruined the, your career who had the voice in the media for him to hear you say mm -hmm. that we talk about mental health i mean i believe john Mar john moran is fine but who knows how something like that could affect him like that being bashed all another black man mm -hmm. uh somebody who has a voice in sports media somebody who is one of the best college basketball players of all time um says that i d d deserve a stiffer punishment Granted, he probably don't care what you got to say. He probably don't. But I'm just saying, what if he did look at you as somebody who, out of all the media people, said, like, damn, you know, I would care what Jay Williams had to say. He actually he played basketball. He might not care what Skip got to say, but Jay Williams, who actually played ball, made a grave mistake. Let me listen to him. Man, you're going to go out on your platform and say that. Yeah, so... In, like I said, I just feel like, you know, us black people, just, just be tr just we, be we have to be just more um, understanding of our fellow brothers and sisters. I mean, we're not excusing bullshit. We're not excusing no, R. Kelly's. No, 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 we're no, not excusing, no. you know, people who have done some like very heinous stuff just because they're black, you know. Um, but. You, and I, listen, before we move on to the next topic, I understand there are a lot of hurt people in this world. I understand there are a lot of hurt black people in this world. Mm -hmm. I understand that there is a lot of trauma that has not been dealt with, and there is a lot of uh, stuff that has been suppressed to where we get on, you know, Twitter, Instagram, get in front of a microphone, a TV, and we see somebody who's messed up, and it's so easy to mm -hmm. come at them hard and judge them. But granted, some people are very deserving from it off rip because some stuff is blatant. But... It a pause for caution is needed at sometimes. It's okay to see something and have a strong emotion and be like, damn, nah, but that's crazy. And it's also to be like for your next thought to be like, damn, this is fresh. Let's see what comes out of it. Let's see what come, comes out of it. I don't know all the details yet. I've probably been a victim in the past. I know how it is for victims. I'm not going to come out and say in defense of, you know, the person that is being accused. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to, you know, I can at least say, damn, if this person, if this person did this, That's he needs to be thrown yeah. under jail. Yeah. He need, it's yeah, fucked up. Yeah. It's messed up. My heart goes out to the victim um, or whoever the victim may be. If they are a victim. You know, because you can identify with that. There's nothing wrong with that. That's actually being a human being. Um, Perfect segue. And which leads me into Jonathan Majors. Uh, Jonathan Majors, uh, he's hotter than fish grease right now. And away from the scandal we're about to talk about, he's been in the Ant-Man movie that's still in theaters that came out probably less than two months ago, definitely less than two month, months ago, um, which is a Marvel check, mm -hmm. you know, and he's geared up to possibly be in more Marvel movies. Nah, he's about to be a Marvel darling, for sure. Um, still could possibly He's in Creed 3, mm -hmm. the Creed franchise, with Michael B. Jordan making his director debut, which I heard was a good movie, still haven't seen it yet. And so that's two bo big box office movies that he has in theaters right now. Came out within the last couple of months. A week and a half ago, at the time of this is being um, recorded, he was on stage 
showing love to Angela Bassett, another beautiful black woman who's been in the industry for years. And a lot of people feel like she got snubbed for um, best actress, um, you know, in her role, whatever the case may be. And he showed love. But Michael B. Jordan say, we love you, auntie. We support you. And, you know, made that step. Now. On top of the world. Everybody, on top of the world. Everybody loves Jonathan, Jonathan Major. He's the, next, he the next, next one. But, you know, people, you know, showing love to his physique. Women, the ladies are after him. You know, a lot of talk around Jonathan Major. Alleged supposed to be the next people's sexiest man thing, whatever. You know, you know, whatever. It is hard for me to believe. And I'm going to say, I'm going to say it again. It is hard for me to believe. Unless you're have a mental imbalance, right? A chemical imbalance. And we would have been so, on that. Some, something, something is wrong with you mentally, right? Which, you know, some, something is wrong with all of us mentally. But something is really wrong with you mentally, mm -hmm. right? What's that. What's wrong with you? I mean, everybody has something you, wrong you, with you. You're a little crazy. I mean, no, I'm not going to say that. But okay. I'm just saying that everybody uh, got something wrong okay, with them. Okay, brother. Nothing okay. is wrong with you. You're, you're 100% like, right in the head. I'm straight. God bless you, brother. <laughs> God bless you. But yeah, right? That Jonathan Majors will be in a cab with a white lady. And they get into... Hold on, my brothers. We got to stop. Uh, uh, let's, wait, 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 wait. Gotta... Let's, let's wait. Let's I'm wait. Sorry, I'm sorry. Let's we, wait. Let's I'm wait. Let's wait. I'm, I'm tired of that being our downfall. Let's wait. We let's wait. Stop. Let's wait. My God, I'm, I'm ending off with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With, with a white woman... And they get into uh, pop, possibly, you know, a verbal argument starts first, and then it leads to physical. Because she seen that she he was possibly texting. Alleged, alleged that's alleged, what happened. She allegedly, seen allegedly. she seen some messages uh, with another woman, and Jonathan Majors proceeds to you know put the beats on her in the back of a cab. That made no sense. It is hard for me to believe that the Jonathan Majors I just talked about that has all this going for him was on was. On stage at the Academy Awards, it has two box office movies still in theaters. Fresh is going to throw all that away. Of a white woman. And start beating on a woman or strangling or causing damage to a woman unprovoked. It could even be provoked in the back of a cat. I'm going to be honest with you, bro. When I first heard this shit, I ain't believing in the first place. Yeah, I was right there with you. Yeah, yeah. I ain't believing in the first place. Uh, but matter of fact, the first thing I said is, "What's your sources?" But I definitely didn't believe when I when I heard it was in the back of a cab. I was like, "Yeah, y'all bullshit." And it is reported that he is the one that called nine one one. Called nine one. And mm -hmm. when the police came, of course they arrested him, mm -hmm. but he got released without even being given a bail. So no charges were set at that time. Nope, nope, no charges. Now, the next day, the following day, the it was stated that the witness recanted, not the witness, the victim recanted, and the following day, it said that now he's being arraigned on charges. Mm -hmm. Now, granted, you I'm hearing, how true that is. yeah, well, even I've seen like multiple, you know, so, yeah. um, people report that you know NPR, CNN. His lawyer even said, as a matter of fact, his lawyer said that they expect for the charges to be dropped. Yeah, so charges have been filed. Yeah. Um, the lawyer has said there's pending video mm -hmm. and witness. Oh, that, that go. And, let that fly. and they believe once that comes out, the charges will be dropped. Now, with all that being said, with all that I just said. I honestly don't know what happened. And neither do you motherfuckers. And neither do you. Now, like I said before, maybe about five, six minutes ago, a lot of people have been through a lot of stuff. They've been a, a, a victims of abuse, domestic violence, whether from a mate, a parent, Fox. whoever, you know, um, sexual abuse. Um, and my heart goes out to you. A lot. All of you, because that is something that should never happen. That is something that is sick. No, for sure. And majority of people do not get the proper healing um, to be able to function and, you know, in life. To um, Where they see something like this, their first indication is to bash the man. I mean, we've seen it with the uh, Chris Brown recently. I believe he got accused 
and it was quickly found out that oh, yeah, yeah, it yeah. was um, false accusations. But even with him, that's a little different. Yeah. Granted, you know, whatever he did happen years ago, but for some reason, people still have. Granted, but about it. it was still false accusations. Yeah, for um, sure. For an, sure. Uh, uh, years ago, I seen with Derrick Rose. Yeah. Um, he, when he was playing for the Chicago Bulls, he was going through a case. It came out false accusations. Uh, there's been a few more recently as well. I can't. Michael Irvin, Michael, who, Michael that, that Irvin. we ju- that we just talked about. I believe that the women said that there was actual sexual harassment going on and video footage dropped and they were just having a conversation he to a step to her to a michael irvin was in like at the hearing breaking down like crying like lost his jobs well i don't know if he lost his jobs but he lost his gigs for for, for the super bowl weekend and he i don't off air. yeah he's, he's, he's taking off air so Man, he could he, possibly still have so his job, he's kind of he's, he's kind of in the queue right yeah. now he's kind of in the queue uh-huh. um as he goes through that We have to be mindful. And me included, all of us, we have to be mindful that we don't know the facts until the facts have been laid out. Jonathan Majors has a lot to lose. And even if it does come out that he is innocent and cleared of all charges, there will still be a stain on Jonathan Majors' name. Now, I believe even with that stain, and his name being cleared, he can go on and still have a very successful career. But as a black man, Jonathan Majors has to become squeaky clean. clean for the rest of his career. It can be an incident 10 years from now when Jonathan Majors is 43 years old and, a, and, a, and some type of physical incident comes up. And they will point back to 10 years ago. When Jonathan Majors was allegedly in a cab and allegedly got into a physical altercation. Mm-hmm. And they will point back to, to it. Jonathan Majors can be clean for the next 10 years and drop m- movies. And every time he drops a movie, there will be a group of people that will be, be like, I can't believe you guys are supporting an abuser. They will be trying to boycott the movies. They will be writing the, the, uh, the movie companies. They, if he has a movie on Netflix, they will be trying to get it removed off Netflix. Yeah, you know Netflix Th- don't do that right now. There do is, this is the type of stuff that will follow Jonathan Majors for his career, whether he's proven guilty or not guilty. And there's no repercussions for the false, the people, the people that's falsely accusing these people. There's usually no repercussion. And usually, even, even if it was a situation where. I don't know. I'm not saying this will happen, but he, she might have tried to grab the phone for him. Probably started hitting him. She, he probably tried to push her off or some shit. Got a mark, and she over exaggerated what happened just to get him and fucked up. Even if something like that happened, and she be like, "Yeah, I did that." It's, it's no repercussion for that. It is what it is. Oh, we just gotta brush it off. It is what it is. Even if she was to go to jail, even if he was to sue her, and probably won't happen because it seemed like they were in a relationship. Um. Y'all, y'all gotta stop doing that by my black brothers. It won't matter. matter. Especially as a black man. I mean, Johnny Depp, he was able to win against Amber Heard. Now, um, if something was to come up again with Johnny Depp, they will probably point back to this, but it'll be a little bit of different. Johnny Depp was able to win some money and win his case against Amber Heard. But, you know, I don't see too many people of this, you know, know, getting blessed like that. You feel me? Only people I see winning against women and getting money from people um, doing bad against them is 50 Cent. Yeah, yeah. He, and nine times out of ten, he's doing that against other black people. I mean, no, no. Yeah, it was a, there was no, a white guy. That white guy. He, yeah, he, there was he, a white guy. He, he brought his pockets. Yeah, he, he took some um, That was recent, right? Yeah, no, about the last four years, three, four years. Yeah. So, I mean, hey, but that's 50 Cent. Yeah. But, um, yeah, man, I feel like as black people, we need to... Um, Stand behind our black brothers and sisters first. I I I, I, I keep repeating that. Not not to the point to where you be like, nope, 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 nope. D- no. Didn't do it. A- arrest her, especially if the violence is against another black woman. Yeah. Cause we gotta protect our black women. And that's not that's not a slogan. We do have to protect them, yeah. but we also have to know the facts. Because you know, it's black women lying on black men. It's black men hurting black women. We we got to come down to the facts and figure out what's going on. And even sometimes when you know the facts, 
the facts, we still don't know what happened. I mean, historically, we know that the whole innocent to proven guilty only don't don't count. Yeah, it, it, don't, it, it don't count to us. So when they don't count towards black people, us as black people, we can't adopt that same philosophy of guilty until proven innocent. Or even when you're proven innocent, you're still a little guilty. We can't do that. We got to let people, you got to let the story come out. Unless it's video. Now, if it's video and you see some crazy shit, then hey, it is what it is. You throw them under the jail. But until then, give give our black counterparts grace. grace. Benefit of the doubt, and let's. Cause nobody else is giving us the benefit. Nobody of Nobody else. We can't. We they can't be not give it to us, and we not give it to ourselves. That it's not gonna work like that. Nobody else is giving us. the Sometimes benefit I feel like the black people be trying to be be trying to out not give us the grace more than the white people. It's like y'all be running behind the fucking the the the, the, the not give the grace train. You're not even in the train. Y'all running behind it, dumb fucks. And lastly, and another thing too, the U.S. Army. Y'all got some fucking nerves. The youth army was the first people to fucking pull an ad. Pull an ad, yeah. A uh, Jonathan Majors ad. When mm. back in twenty twenty one, I believe there was thirty six thousand complaints, sexual assault complaints against lieutenants, sergeants, majors, whatever in the U.S. Army. The U.S. Army, y'all got some nerve. Y'all first of all, y'all the last people to want to talk about protecting anybody, especially when it comes to women, because b- y'all y'all high, y'all high shit twenty four seven. Y'all have to clean up your own pool. Clean first. up your own mess. All right. Fuck out of here, dude. What, what next topic? The last oh, topic. U.S. Army, something I did. Go ahead, continue. I support the troops. Shout, shout out, shout out, Jonathan Major. I, yeah, I support the good ones. Yeah, <laughs> the good, good troops. The good troops. <laughs> but yeah, um, speaking of Jonathan Majors, um, listen. Leave the white people alone, man. Leave the white, leave the white women alone, bro. Leave them alone. Um, leave them alone, Jay. I love all people. People from all credences and colors and religious backgrounds. And when I say love, I don't mean like, you know. Kumbaya. I mean like love with respect. Yeah. Respect all people. Yeah. You know, unless you want like some satanic stuff or something like that. You know, that's not something I do. But, you know, if I was to meet like a Buddhist man and stuff like that, I'm like, oh, you're Buddhist. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. I respect your beliefs yeah. and keep it pushing. I'm not going to get into really, really a conversation about, you know, Buddhism. Yeah. You know, probably some... Maybe some general stuff to be like, okay, because I don't want to offend you. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Stuff I don't, like, I don't yeah, have to offend you. Yeah. Stay away from it. I don't want to offend you. If if you have to work in close with, you know, yeah. sometimes you can't help it. Sometimes yeah, you can't yeah, help yeah. it. You know, you might want to learn, you know, da 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 yeah. Whatever the case may be. Um, but? But. Okay. Okay. Right? My guy. I wanna, first, I want to say I have interracial family members. Okay. You know, I have mixed family members. That are the product of black and white l- love making and marriages. Yeah. And I love them all dearly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you do. I love them all dearly. Yeah, yeah. And mm-hmm. I also, there's a part of me inside that has no problem, really, interracial dating. with interracial dating. 13,000 slashes. <laughs> but, but, hey. that is only because. In the cases mm-hmm. of success. Okay, I'm listening. Successful marriages. Okay, okay, okay. okay like, okay. y'all was in it for the long haul. You can't be, you can't date. I mean, you can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. But if you're going to be a black man or a black woman that ends up dating a white person, white man or woman, better make sure it works. And secondly, you also have to keep in mind that whatever kids you guys may have, you still have to have that, you still have to teach that kid of how to operate as a black person. They are still black. Poor logic. Nine times out of ten, they're going to look black. And if their skin does not look black, they may have some black features to where you still have to, if you are a black person that loves themselves, you still have to make sure that they are respectful of black culture. Yep. So, I say that to say is it's so much easier to just date black. Date black. It's so much easier. I mean, as a, as a, as a black man that grew up black my whole life with black parents and black family members, I don't, I don't do no interracial like, mingling in my family. Um, you can't, a white woman or man can't teach a black kid how to, how to grow up. Like, you can't, there's only, there's only so much you can teach them. Not, not by themselves. You you one one thing I put in I I'll throw out there is um kind of I guess 
Madonna and Angelina Jolie, mm. how they how they've adopted a lot of black kids. That's weird. I'm gonna be honest, that's some weird shit. And I'm be honest, if, if a story come, you know, we we're, we're having a conversation damn, about giving damn, people the benefit damn, of the doubt. Damn, <laughs> damn, damn. The benefit of the doubt. I'm be honest. As a white person, for you don't want to go adopt a black per, a black kid, you're a weirdo. Bro. And if a story comes out that stuff was going on, I'm 100 percent believe it. I don't need no proof. It's not weird though. It's weird. M- Mega. Kai, if you're gonna go adopt, if you if you got if you got no no no, but that's the thing. I'm just okay. okay. we can This is not I, no this, no. We gonna talk about this. It. Is not even where I'm trying to go. We that's got we got to get to the nit. Here we gonna address. Got to get the nit grip. We gonna get to the nit grip, but before that, let's get to the, the oil and shit. <laughs> All right, let's talk about it. White people adopting black. Bro, okay, let me, make, let me let me let me, bro. I believe the Madonnas and the Angelina Jolies of the world. It's weird. It's not about adopting a particular color. I think it's about adopting somebody who came or they know is less fortunate, who they believe is not going to have the same opportunity as a lot of people that they may know, and giving them that opportunity. Every single and, one. And you know why I say that is? Because them two specifically, they raised those kids, but made sure those kids still stay within their culture. They have the black kids, and the black kids are still, you know, in the dashikis and still, you know, in their traditional stuff and, you know, whatever white kids they may have that they adopted. Those kids are still within their culture. They raise them. They show them love and love them and still make sure they keep their culture within themselves. There's a difference of being a financial and a support system for somebody, mm-hmm. black or white. Mm-hmm. I'm not, now, if, they, if they're just sponsoring to make sure they go to school, Probably bring them to America, so see the life. But you know, bring them back because I believe it's from Africa, Africa, right? I mean, not all of them, but some. Yeah, okay, whatever. Black, yeah, black. yeah, but okay, I'm just sponsoring you. A good mm-hmm. kid, you come from a less environment. I have money, I have resources. I'm gonna make sure you go to the good school. I'm gonna give you money, whatever. That's cool. But for me to raise you as my kid, and I'm gonna go and adopt a black kid as a white one. That's weird. What about Michael Orr? Michael Orr, that was weird too. That was weird too. He but was that, homeless and no, he took him that, in. That situation's a little different though. That's a little different. Because, like you said, he was homeless and took him. That's not weird. That's just, like, that's just you being a good human. Yeah, it's good human. And, and plus, he was a big-ass motherfucker. They, they, seen, they seen the money. They seen the money truck. We just had to make sure we mowed him, give him some food. They seen the money truck. Whatever. We're going to get off that topic. But for you to purposely go to a black Africa, whatever the fuck you went, and go to a black kid, there's some weird psych- psychological shit going up with that. I promise you. I'm telling you, Kyle, <laughs> if you hear 15 years, the story of Angela Jolie, you know, ain't another thing, too. In 2023, if you're a black man or a black woman dating, no, I'm going to say black man because whatever. If you're a black man dating a white woman, something, something wrong, something, something wrong, something, something <laughs> up here is wrong. I'm going to get the people back in the 1800s and 19 in the 1950s and shit that did it, I'm going to give them a pass. Because I ain't going to lie, if I was a slave or a slave or if I was like one of the people going through the segregation and shit, I would have fucked me a couple of white women too <laughs> on some aha shit. I would have did it. I'm going to be honest with you. I would have did it. Just to, just to say fuck you to the people. I ain't going to lie. I would have did it. So I'm gonna give him a pass, but in 2023, bro, you getting caught up with white women and doing all this extra shit. You you kind of deserve whatever you get, man. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. We we see we see how it goes, bro. We seen it too many times. We seen it too many times, bro. We gotta do better, bro. We gotta keep the money in the house. When I mean the house, the black house. When you die, black family get all the money. Not the white people. Not the white people. The black people get all the money. I'm saying, like, come on, bro. All I had to say. No, I had to say. Yeah, man. Yeah. I mean, listen, like I said, uh I'm not it's hard for me with my like my, you know. And he got he got uncles and aunties, whatever. Yeah. You know, yeah, I, 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 yeah, you know. My uncle married. And you love him. White uncle married into the family, yeah, look, created yeah. my cousin, beautiful. She's biracial, but I would say, you know, beautiful black girl, you know, got, you know, a black uncle who had a few kids with um, s- some white women. But how long ago was that? Like, how long ago was that? Like, uh, probably like 20. 20 some years ago? Over 20 years ago. Yeah, okay. Over 20 years ago. Yeah. That's over 20 still... years ago. Married, married, married a beautiful black woman, got divorced, now he's with a, another white woman, in his old age, mm-hmm. you know, older age, mm. not, he's not having kids anymore, you know, just riding off into the sunset. A white woman. Good lady. Cool lady. Cool lady. I'm sure. Granted, like I said, yeah. as, you know, my Christian beliefs, you know, 
Yeah. I believe that, I, you I know, you can God. love whoever you can love. But, but, <laughs> I still also believe you got to be black first. And you doing that, especially if you're going to have kids, it is some checks and balances that you as a black person have to make sure. And that is a lot of hard work. Because let's just say you go ahead and have a kid and you don't teach that kid about their black self-worth. And not to say, you know, they just continue to date white people, white people, white people, to the point that they think that they're white. And you have a grandkid. And they look less black than your kid. And let's say you're blessed enough to see a grandkid, a, your grandkid have, have kids, grandkid. and what they else? have a kid with a white kid. No, that that not kid. Yeah, you don't worry about it. You are a 2%. black great-grandfather 2% milk. looking at a white kid. Yeah. Logic. Hey, mention this. No, this we can't. This thing on time. Let's talk about logic. Talk about logic. Okay. What do you think about people having to say this, right? <laughs> what, what do you think about people saying this? That black women, especially after the, the, the uh, crack, post-crack, right? They made it. They became so independent and so like, um, I don't need a man. They, they became so hard to date. Mm-hmm. As a black man, you don't want to go through that hassle. So you just go ahead and cross the sea. I think that's... Now, I don't know about the cross the sea part, but definitely the 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 taking of black men out of the home, whether it's to, uh, due to crack or taking them out of the home due to, oh, if you want child support, the man can't be in the household, whatever the case may be. It definitely warped the way this new generation thinks of just being independent and whatever the case may be. But it's a lot to say that men just don't want to deal with that shit no more. I, that that's just a whole other conversation that we don't even have time mm-hmm. time for, but I w- I would say a lot of a lot of black men, um, they aren't strong enough to deal with a strong woman, to deal with a strong woman, or they don't show the leadership skills to be able to guide and show women like you know you know a lot of the stuff that you've been taught or the way that you feel is not the correct way to think. And but where did they learn it from? Exactly. Yeah. And also, sometimes you just don't want to deal with that mm-hmm. that particular black woman. But you know what you do? Go to find another black woman. Another black woman. Yeah. Another black woman. <clears throat> so yeah, but that's, that's a whole other conversation for another. All time. my all my black sisters and shit. I, I if I can't deal with an American black, I'll just go to like another black country. I'll just go to the like Barbados or something. Mm-hmm. Like, you ain't got to worry about me crossing you, the seas. If you can't do black American, you, you got go black Caribbean. Caribbean. And with, uh, within the black creepy, there's a lot of different blacks. Yeah. yeah. A lot of different still blacks. Still got the roots. Still got the. Sure, you could probably, if you, a black Canadian. Mm. Black Afro-Latino. Yeah. Mm. Mm. That's a weird mix. They, they, they confuse over that. Not all of them. Yeah, they, uh, Not all of them. It's usually the people in the Dominican. Everybody else, I think. Okay. When, when, when they black, they, well, be, they be claiming they black. Okay. For the most part, I think. Okay. You think? That's where, that's where the term Afro-Latina come from. Because some people identify as Afro-Latina. Yeah. They're the black. I don't feel like doing the whole deciphering shit. Damn. Listen, man. Oh, Put some on the show. Go to Africa, motherfucker. God. You got plenty of options. Message and moral of the story is be black first. Yeah, be black first. Be, be black first with your thinking. You know, sometimes your heart may lead you to a non-black person. <laughs> I don't foresee that ever happening to me at all. You know what? I've seen some white women, and I'd be like, that is a good-looking white woman. No, me too. I mean, especially not like this recently, yeah. And then I think to myself, but they're very good-looking. Like, i never seen an okay white woman. Like, I'll see an okay black woman be like, you know what? You're not the prettiest, but something about you. Mm-hmm. I've never seen a white woman be like, you know, you're not the prettiest, but something about you. Like, for a white woman, I'd be like, you got to be bad. Like, yeah. you got to... Like, bad. I think some good, like, even the ones that are not, uh, that you can, bad, but you're good looking. And, and I, I, I just think, like. She must got a dick in her mouth. So she might be like, you know, whatever. Cause that's the only and way. And I just be thinking to myself. That's the only way. You are not worth. Losing my career, my life, my yeah. self-worth. Or, you know, me taking my blackness. <laughs> you, you're, not, you're not worth it. You're not worth it. It, yeah. it would have to be. And it's not even about looks. It's, but I. No, no, we, we, we're talking about low, low po- possibilities here, but I just, I just don't see it. 
I just see when I think about all the stuff my my people had to go through and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? And getting ketchup poured on them and shit, and everything like that, and all the disrespect and everything yeah. like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, black women are so beautiful, yeah. and there's so many different shades and colors. Yeah. Granted, some of them shades and colors come from being, you know, black and white parents, <laughs> but it's still black. It's I'm, still give, black. I'm gonna give your grandfathers and shit a pass because they was fucking the the slave master girl to say, uh huh. I'm gonna give you a pass. You remember that? You remember that scene in Life? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> when they went into the restaurant. Well, please, please. No, 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 not the restaurant. When the uh, the, the, uh, the the slave master daughter had a, a baby. Oh, the oh, yeah. He went up. He went up. Skin. Yeah. That, I'm the dad. <laughs> yeah, I'm the pappy. I'm the pappy. Bro. Shout out to Bernie Matt, man. Yeah. I'm I'm that daddy pappy. But yeah, yeah. Man. yeah. It's not worth it, bro. Yeah, yeah. So um, more of the story. Once again, Stay be black, black first in everything. I feel like that will help us. Bank black. I, there's um a lot a lot of little subtopics that we could have got into when it comes to being black first. It's a mentality. Um oh, lastly, si- like since we're thing, talking man. about, you know, yeah. biracial and you know, interracial couples and everything like that, mm. y'all need to stop that dumb shit when it comes to oh, they're not black, they're biracial. If their skin is a few shades lighter than this, a few shades lighter, I not I'm not talking about the logic and stuff like that. I can understand the, the, when you look at logic and being like, that's, that's not a black white, man. That's a white man. Granted, but I he, feel but like... But you know his dad is what you were talking about, though. Yeah. Yeah, his dad was the white, the the the, 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 the grandson who started dating white and had a white baby. That, that's that's, that's yeah. literally what happened. Yeah. 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 So I blame the dad. Yeah. But now, if my man logic wants to identify as a black man... Yeah. Uh, having a black father, because that's what he said. Especially when they'd be like, "What your father is, that's what you are." I have no problem with that. Logic is just as black as Rachel Dolezal. Logic has black features, though. Kyle. Come on, but the cheekbones, bro. Come on, bro. Rachel Dolezal, bro. Come on, bro. Matter of fact, put a picture of Rachel Dolezal. So and put you, you, a, listen, we you gonna put no, it in the comments. No, come on, Who's come on. Let's be for real. Rachel Dolezal or Logic? <laughs> let's be real. Let's be real. I'm dead ass. Okay, make a clone. Okay, but okay, shut okay, up, I'm, bro. I'm, 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 shut up. I'm, shut up. If Logic would suggest to come out and say I'm a white man, no, 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 no. If he never was on this campaign of trying trying to prove that he was black, right? He just said I'm white, and one day we came out of nowhere and we seen Logic Daddy looking like um another white man. Why did they oh, not look like no white man? That nigga look like, that nigga look like. Yeah. Compare him to somebody. Rachel Dolezal. N- no. He definitely look like Rachel Dolezal. No, that man is like four shades lighter than me. 14 shades lighter than you, <laughs> nigga? What the fuck? Did you see that video, nigga? Bro. Bro, come on, bro. But I done seen white, I done seen white people look like. Logic Daddy like this. Bro, no, now nah, you crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, now you look like your shirt, nigga. <laughs> no, Fuck it out of here. Nah, but he looked like a nice tan, bro. Yeah, yeah, cause he went to the beach. Look at the fuck. Look like a damn. Like daddy look like he look darker than Drake, bro. Nah, no. Nah. Mega. Bro, don't let me pull up the photo. Pull bro. up the pictures. I will pull up the photo right now, pull bro. Up the we put the end up, but I pull up the and photo. Why you, bro. you why ain't you gonna look, do logic like that? For that white man, bro. Listen, logic is just as white or just as black as Rachel Dolezal, and that's okay. If a white man want to identify as a black man, I don't, I don't mind. I don't mind. No, I appreciate it. Mm, let me find logic, yeah, man. Yeah, trying to find a good picture, nigga. It's not a good picture. I'm gonna go go by the one that um yeah. that was um yeah. Where logic at, man? Yeah. Come on, bro. Stop playing, bro. Come on, bro. That man doctor than Jay, bro. Stop playing, bro. At the best, nigga look Dominican. <laughs> bro, at the at the best, he looked Dominican. Bro, you you see him? I got a good look at yeah, him. Yeah, I got a good look. Let me put up a picture of Drake. Shout out Shane Pine Poppy. I'm just saying, I gotta, I gotta make um, you know, bro. While we waiting, man, shout out to all the black queens. Yeah, he's Dr. than Drake. You tripping? Yeah, cause he was in the sun, nigga. The fuck, Drake? You think Drake be in the sun all the time? No, Drake is in that fucking mansion. Yeah, Drake be in the sun a lot. Drake be on, on oh, tropical bro. islands and everything. That's a different type of sun, bro. That sun hit differently. That shit is that struggle. <laughs> okay, that that's that struggle shit. You think Logic like that struggling? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Anyway, I mean, man, you know how I know he's, he's struggling because right, Logic been crying about him being black for years, and he never came out to prove that he was black because he didn't know where his daddy was at. So I'm pretty sure there's no there's no relationship like that. 
<laughs> Anyways, man. Sure. But shout out Logic, man. You know, another white man trying to be black, man. I appreciate it, man. But, you know, if you are black, Logic, just make good music and shut the fuck up. <laughs> just make good music. That's it. J. Cole, we ain't never get J. Cole no flat. You know why? Because he make good music and he don't talk about it. Drake. They talk about it a little bit. They talk about it. Drake, they talk about it. The last time J. Cole talked about that shit was in Forest Hill Drive, motherfucker. 15 <laughs> years ago, nigga. He, they talk about it's it. It's 2023. You still talking about black and white. Fuck out of here, nigga. Drake, mama white as hell. We don't talk about it. You know why? He made great fucking Drake music. Drake talk about it, too. He did. He did. He did. He briefly. But you talk about it every song. You had us a black. If it ain't black, it ain't white. All that. Just draw good music. Fuck, I'm tired of that white man. He talking about fucking that fake struggle. Nigga, you see me? I go through struggle when I get stopped. Nigga, you see? Nigga. Bitch, you get started. They look at your ID. They, they thought they thought you stole it or some shit. The fuck, get out of here. Why does it say B? Yeah, why does it say B? <laughs> Sir, are you okay? <laughs> the fuck out of here, man. All right, man. That's it, man. Shout out Rachel Dolezal, man. That's it, man. Uh, if you guys sat through Logic this, I appreciate Dolezal. you guys. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, that was our rant. We just had to get that off our chest, man. There's a lot that's been going on. We AJ got to William, on it. suck some dick. I hope, I, I hope I gotta run in Jay Wayne one day. He don't mean that literally. If no, 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 no. I respect you, Jay. I respect you, Jay. But I don't want it's you to know. He's just very mad at you. For I just, yeah, that I'm was, very mad at you too. That, that I don't know why you do that. Very unresponsible. Hopefully, by the time we ever meet you, you know, you kind of like change your opinion on, you yeah. know, and your stance on it. If you don't, you know, you know what you can do. <laughs> 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 it's your boy Connor Kim Megan, the boy Vibe with your boys podcast. You did, and we out.